Alright guys, welcome to your 15th Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about the magnetic lasso tool. It's right under the polygonal lasso tool so make sure you have that selected not the basic lasso tool and what this tool basically allows you to do is it allows you to follow along a certain object and it's going to snap along the edges. So this actually works really well when there is really good contrast in your image. So for example if you wanted to select the hair from her shirt. You see how the hair in her shirt are basically the same color? It's not going to be able to detect that very well. But if we want to single out this post-it note, we can go ahead and do that because the post-it note is bright yellow and it's clearly defined against the background. So in order to use this, go ahead and click on the edge of your object and you don't want to drag. Just go ahead and move your mouse and it's going to go ahead and snap along the edges of your selection. So again, don't drag it like the lasso tool. Just go ahead and click and move your mouse. And once you get to the very end, click on your starting anchor point right there. Now once you do, it's gonna go ahead and make that selection. And another thing that you can do is if you deselect this, if you have this selected, instead of going all the way to the um, beginning anchor point, you can actually double click and once you double click it's going to make a straight line from wherever you had to that uh, point. So basically that's how you use the magnetic lasso tool and it's awesome for making something with very high contrast. So now if we wanted to select the inverse and cut we can go ahead and do that and we can have that post a note singled out. Now just so I showed you guys a good example let me show you guys where this wouldn't be a great example. Here is a photo of my puppy, old Dan. He's a little bit older now, but if we wanted to use the tool right here, as you can see at the very beginning, the image right here has a lot of the same colors. So the, I don't even know what this is, a piece of wood or the bed is kind of the same color as his fur. And with these shadows right here, as you can see, it's kind of working, but the lasso tool is getting confused really easily. So if you're, uh, image has a lot of the same colors like browns in the background in the foreground you probably want to stick with the basic lasso tool but for tools that are I mean excuse me for images that are very high in contrast and you want to select a certain portion of it the magnetic lasso tool is easily your best bet because it makes it so much easier you don't have to concentrate so much on moving your hand perfectly where you want it to but for now, thank you guys for watching, and in the next tutorial, I'm probably going to be covering the polygonal lasso tool. It's going to be awesome, so I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.